First question on this episode of question from subs came from my boy Trey G. He says something no one is talking about. Hey, Graven, hope all is well with you and the family. In light of this messy situation with J.K. Dobbins, I'm wondering why no one has brought up the possibility of the Ravens picking up free agent Dalvin Cook. Whoa. <laughs> you know, when he was first released, it was some people bringing it up. And when this J.K. Dobbins stuff first started out, it was a lot of people bringing it up. But it kind of like died down. I haven't heard much as, as much about it, but let's get back to the question. He said, everyone seems to be focused on him going to Miami or the Jets. Yeah. Uh, but is it possible that the Ravens actually swoop in in the final hour and sign Cook? If so, how do you feel about that move? P.S. I'm aware it's not a typical Ravens signing. We generally develop running backs in-house, but... These Ravens are moving different this season. Just a thought. Appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you, Trey. Now, we're going to answer this question, but before we get into it, let's hear a word from our sponsor. One of the most painful things to see on the football field every Sunday is a blindside hit. And that's because with blindside hits, you don't see them coming. They're painful, they're inconvenient, and they hit you out of nowhere. You ain't got no way to prepare for it. And the same can unfortunately be said about a car accident. But when football players get whacked, they know exactly who to call. When us regular people get into accidents, sometimes we just don't. And then just a simple thought of the process of hiring a lawyer it seems super stressful and it can bring a lot of anxiety but with morgan and morgan they make it easy what morgan and morgan have done is modernize the injury law process so you can actually submit a claim and have it looked at by a lawyer without even leaving the couch if you need to sign documents send any pictures share any medical records or doctor bills you can do all of that from your phone and for those of you like myself who don't feel like being on the phone all day you can even text message the case manager or the attorney without ever having to go into an office if you ever injured in an accident hiring an attorney Attorney is one of the first things that you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting the claim is super easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan when they've been in an accident. So if you're ever in an accident, hopefully you won't be, but if it does happen, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less. And you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at ForThePeople.com or dial pound law, and that's pound 529 from your cell phone. So team, keep it clean. Welcome to another episode of Questions from Subs, where you can ask any question you want to, and we answer it in a video just like this we're gonna get to my guy trey's question which we appreciate because he sent it to team keep it clean at gmail.com that's all you got to do and for the team keep it clean patrons if you want to become a paid patron you can go to patreon.com slash engraving vids and if you don't want to that's fine as well but for the patrons you don't got to send it to the email you just send it directly on patreon and that's it simple as that so i appreciate everybody i appreciate all y'all thank you for being so patient with your questions i love y'all now make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a thing and let's get back to my guy's question. So, and that is a really, really good question because in his PS, what, what does PS stand for, by the way? I forgot what it stands for. But anyway, well, he said, I'm aware it's not a typical Raven signing. It's not. Signing a running back, well, a running back of that caliber on the free agent market. No, it's not a typical Raven signing. I mean, the last running backs, we remember them signing besides Melvin Gordon. But we were Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, uh, Latavius Murray. Uh, and they all contributed in different ways. They didn't all make it to the end of the season. There were some cuts, like Le'Veon Bell. But um, anyway, yeah, that's that's been the Ravens' thing when it comes to running backs. But but Mark Ingram, they signed Mark Ingram a couple years ago, and he did pretty good. Remember that. But anyway, uh, the part where he said, "But these Ravens, meaning the Ravens right now, these Ravens." Are moving different this season because I mean, yeah, you 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 see that the Odell Beckham and you talked about could they swoop in and sign Dalvin Cook at the last minute, like they swooped in and signed Odell Beckham Jr. at the last minute? Could they do the Jets like that if the Jets are truly even interested? Because he had his visit with the Jets, and we ain't heard nothing since. So Jets obviously they don't feel any kind of pressure like oh man hey we got to get this dude signed right away we got to get him in we got to bring him in we got to we can't leave him we can't let him leave without a deal that ain't happened. So how much interest is really there? Is his market just dying down? Is this another DeAndre Hopkins type thing where it's just not much activity there? I don't, it, it could be. We won't know till we know, even though right now it kind of seems like we know since we ain't really heard nothing much. But could the Ravens do it? They could. Will the Ravens do it? I don't, I don't think so, but... Like you said, these Ravens are different. I couldn't rule it out from them, especially if the price comes down. But because with JK, man, it's crazy. We just, it's crazy. We don't know what's going on with JK, what's going to happen with JK. I'm waiting to see 
the the report that says, all right, J.K. Dobbins, he came off the pup list. He passed his physical, and, and I, I'm then after that, then if he practices, I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens at that point. Will he practice or will he hold in or what's going to happen at that point? Especially with all of his comments over this offseason, Melvin Gordon's recent comments, and J.K. Dobbins, his his actions, his actions. So that's something that we got to watch out for. But if they were to bring in a Dalvin Cook, then, I mean, him and J.K. Dobbins, they train together. They train together, or at least they have before. But um, would that mean that they would trade in a J.K. Dobbins? You know, they're not cutting him. They ain't going to cut no J.K. Dobbins. No, man. They if the only way that J.K. Dobbins would not play for the Ravens this year, well, two ways. But the only way that they wouldn't have him on the roster this year, uh, would be if they trade him because you know they ain't cutting him and getting nothing for him. So, mm, I think it's possible that they brought in Delvin Cook, but I do not think that it is likely. Next question came from a team keeper clean patron, my guy Wayne, who's been a patron for a year. He said, "This is my first question from Sub, so I appreciate it, Wayne." He said. Um, This is from your episode where you talked about thinking like a GM. I love to keep all three of our tight ends. Owe for young, not a bad idea. Whoa, let's just go broke for broke, meaning I give you my injured guy for your injured guy. Bateman for young. Whoa. No, I I, I would not do that one. I I, I wouldn't. Um, No, no, no. I, I would go a different avenue for a pass rusher. And no, because ba- 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 hey, Bateman about to be number one, man. I can tell you, he gonna be the number one guy this year, man. As long as he stay healthy, he he got it, man. So no, I I can't get with this one. Bateman for Chase, no. Next question came from another patron, my guy Martin, who's been a patron for two years. He said, "Did you see Justin Herbert getting his contract extension? Was one of the quietest things ever." LOL. I miss undisputed. Uh, I was always up to date. Fortunately, I never miss a beat with my Ravens news. Thank you for all your hard work, team. Keep it clean, stay hydrated. It's hot out there. Yeah, it sure is. See, the thing with the Justin Herbert contract, um, the the and and it's it's sad, but it's it's the truth. Uh, we all knew, everybody knew, ju- the the charges were gonna pay Justin Herbert. It was beyond the shadow of a doubt. There was no questioning. No, no. There was no. We knew it was gonna happen. Um, with Joe Burrow, we all know it's gonna happen. We all know Joe Burrow is gonna get paid from the Bengals. But with Lamar Jackson, that's where all the the, the media put out all the questions. And then there was a lot of us. I, mean, I wasn't sure the Ravens were gonna pay him. I thought they should have. They needed to, but I wasn't sure they were going to. And it got a little ugly. Got a little ugly. It got stretched out. Um, but with uh. There were no questions, like, as far as the media, like, oh, should the Chargers pay Justin Herbert? No, there ain't no question. And with Joe, should the Bengals pay Joe? No questions right there. But with Lamar, it was, should the Ravens really pay a Lamar Jackson? Duh? So, yeah, that's why you ain't really hear nothing about Justin Herbert. They're super quiet. Next question came from my guy Travis B, who is not only a Team Keep It Clean patron, but also a Team Keep It Clean channel member. So I appreciate you, Trev. He said, hey, man, it's about that time again. The most important time of the year for our Ravens, the preseason. Do you predict they will remain undefeated? This will be our year to go all the way into the playoffs. Hope you and your family are doing great. Thanks for the content. Appreciate that, Travis. Oh, yeah, I think they'll be undefeated again in the playoffs. But my thing is now, all right, Ravens. We know about the whole pre... I mean, excuse me, I said I think they'll be undefeated in the playoffs. I think they'll be undefeated in the preseason. But hopefully, what they do is treat the regular season like the preseason. And then, the, hopefully, they make it to the playoffs, which I expect them to do, especially if they're healthy. But then treat the playoffs like the preseason. And go all in and go undefeated there, too. And that would make for a wonderful Baltimore Ravens 2023 season. Next question came from my guy Amari, who's been a patron for 11 months. So I appreciate it, Amari. He said, I just wanted to say, man, the loss of Mark Ingram was very underrated. Uh, He brought the fun in that 2019 season. I get the feeling Odell is a very similar catalyst to help the team have fun, but play at a high level. I see the guys having a lot of fun this season, and time will tell. That is a very, very good point, something that I did not ever think about, but it's true. Um, we've talked about a lot on here how Mark Ingram, yeah, he brought that vibe. He brought a lot of energy. And Mark Ingram, when he got cut, um, a lot of that energy, it just it wasn't there like that anymore. Uh, and somebody even asked a question, uh, maybe on the last episode of Questions from Subs we did or the one before, talk about who, who's going to be that, that, that vocal leader? Who's going to be the hype man? That was his question. Who's going to be the hype man? And 
Oh, I, I thought about on defense, like since Calais Campbell's going, uh, maybe Marlon Humphrey. But I did mention Odell Beckham Jr. on offense. Um, but that is uh, when you bring up Mark Ingram and just what he did for the Baltimore Ravens. I didn't think about it like that. Uh, but yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. could be that. That guy with high energy, that guy that's having fun, that's guy that's dancing around, that guy that's getting everybody energized and whatnot because Odell is very outspoken. Uh, you can see his vibe, whether he got a good vibe or a bad vibe, you're going to be able to see it because he puts it on full display, uh, which ain't nothing wrong with that. So he's in a good mood, he's hyping up his teammates and whatnot. They're going to feed off of that, and that could benefit the Ravens in a long way. And last question on this episode came from my guy, Jordan. He said, I still think J.K. knows where he is with the money. So I think he'll be back right before the season and just sitting out as long as he can to not get injured without the money. At the same time, do you think with a good preseason between Gordon and Keaton Mitchell, can you see the Ravens shipping Dobbins. If so, what do you think would be the compensation? Uh, so could the Ravens trade J.K. if they got the right offer? Um, and if the, the guys have a good preseason? Again, it's, it's not out the realm of possibilities. I, I think it's a small possibility, but I think it is a possibility. Um, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, the Ravens, are, not even that it's a small possibility, because they're just in a really weird spot right now. Um, again, like I said, I'm just waiting to see what happens when – or if he comes off that physically unable to perform list. I know I talked about it yesterday. Like right now, I just I don't I don't see JK playing for the Ravens right now. I just I, I, I don't. Um things could obviously be resolved like that. There could be a turnaround like that. There could be a change of heart like that. Right now, I don't see it though. Um but I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm so lost on what's gonna happen with JK Dobbins. I just, I have no clue. Because, again, one minute I'd be like, I don't think he's going to play with the team. Then earlier in this video, I talked about how, I, even though I don't, it's weird. I don't see him playing for the team. But at the same time, it's like it's hard to see them trading him. But if they did trade him, what would be the compensation? Um, I think they would get, uh, like, a fourth-round pick for J.K. Dobbins. If they got a third, I would be surprised if they traded him. But I think they would get a fourth-round pick. Yeah, a fourth round pick for J.K. Dobbins um, because the fourth round pick, 14, is a low risk, potential high reward. Uh, with J.K. Dobbins, yeah, you miss you miss some time or whatnot, but you know you're getting an explosive player. So third round pick, uh, maybe even, uh, but it's mm, at this point of the season, a third rounder for running back. No, nah, so yeah, I, I think probably a fourth round if they did end up go to, going that route.